Hey guys, it's Ian from No One Topic. I've got a quick video taking you through the case that I'm going to be using for my Atrius keyboard build. I'll also show off another PCB that I've just received that's going to be used in a future keyboard project. So stick around to the end of the video to check that out. So this is it here, it's a stacked acrylic case, or sandwich case it's sometimes called. Um, I'll have some high res pictures of that one to show off in case the camera doesn't pick it up nicely. It is literally layers of 3mm acrylic laid on top of each other and then bolted together to form a rigid case. As you can see from the size it's quite compact. The idea is that it is a portable keyboard so you can chuck it in your backpack and take it with you. You can see now the split design of the, the keys here. So as you can see, one of the layers actually has the holes for the switches cut out. Uh, the extra layers then create a bit of a cavity behind there, which is where all the, the wiring goes and the controller. So this is 3mm opal acrylic. So it's a white acrylic uh, that is semi-transparent. So if you're going to use LEDs in a keyboard project, it's really good for that because it does shine through quite nicely. Um, it's a gloss finish as well. So I've just assembled this with uh, some spare bolts and nuts just to see that it all fit together nicely and it was well cut out. It just all lines up very nicely, very clean. Uh, I was considering maybe painting it but I think I'll just leave it for this one. The company that I got this made through is called Pinoco. They're an American company that also have a base in New Zealand. Uh, essentially the company is a online laser cutting store. You send them with drawings, you select your material, and then they cut it out for you and send it out. For me, this ended up being quite cheap. You get a discount for your first job, so keep an eye out for those sorts of discounts. So, Pinoco does have templates available on their website. You load them up into Inkscape, and then you can just drop the designs into place. And it's a bit of a Tetris game. You need to leave room between all the pieces, but um, it's very easy to do, um, and they're very forgiving in their design. The rest of it is all done online, you upload your drawing, you select your materials and then you send it off to be made. Very very easy, very quick um, and well priced as well. So I went with this 3mm acrylic, you can also choose wood, there's a 3mm bamboo that is quite common for these projects. Um, I opted for the acrylic because I'm a bit more familiar with the material and it's a bit more forgiving in terms of uh, ease of use. The bamboo does require a staining and preparing and sanding and stuff, whereas this acrylic is just about good to go. I'll check a link in the description for the Pinoco website as well as Inkscape for editing your diagrams. I'll also check a link in for the Atrius keyboard design. So the next step with this is to glue the switches into place. Uh, I'm not going to film that because that's going to be quite boring and messy I'm sure, so I'm going to do that off camera. Afterwards, then I start the actual soldering process of the wires. So as I mentioned, uh, I received a couple of PCBs in the mail. This is for another keyboard project called the Iris. Now this is pre-made PCBs. You still need to solder in the diodes and the switches and the controller. Um, I also got a case made for this at the same time as the Atrius. So I've got another acrylic case for this. As you can see, this is a similar sort of size, but this time it's in two halves for your hand, one hand each. Uh, it gives you a bit more flexibility in the layout and um, location of the, your hands. Might be a bit more ergonomic. Also, as a shameless plug, I'll chuck a link in the card above to our new channel called One Topic Perth. The channel is dedicated to content about the city we live in, Perth, Western Australia, uh, from food reviews, coffee reviews, things like that. Uh, so check it out if you're a local or if you're overseas and just want to get an idea of the city that we live in. If you have any questions for us around the keyboard project or anything else on the channel, please drop it in the comments below and we'll be sure to get back to you. If you want to continue on this journey with me, please hit the subscribe button down below. This has been Ian for No One Topic and I'll see you next time.